watching Prophets Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. This episode, episode three, is going to revolve around a very unique set of circumstances that we've got going on in the shop right now. But before we get out into the shop, I just didn't know uh, if everybody knew my wonderful, lovely wife, Chandra, who helps here in the office and helps in the shop and keeps employee morale up. And uh, it's just a really, really valuable asset to this business. So that's her. Let's get out to the shop. So most of you know that Profits Resurrection Land Cruisers is an all under one roof Toyota Land Cruiser restoration shop and custom shop. And right now, here we have a number of restorations going on. And it's actually a really special time because the restorations that we have in process all happen to be the same year FJ40. And it's a year that there were very few of them even sold. Some sources say less than a thousand 1982 FJ40s were sold in the United States. And so it's actually pretty unique to have three of them all here for body off restorations, all 1982s at the same time. Let's look at each one of them a little bit. So this first 1982 FJ40 is here for a body off restoration, and the customer just dropped it off a couple of days ago. We haven't even turned a wrench on it yet, and so it's all stock, and it's going to go back to all stock. And this will be fun to show you the restoration process on in a future episode. As you can see, the restoration on this FJ40 has already begun. The body parts have been sandblasted and the dents and rust have mostly been fixed. It won't be too long before the new Nordic Blue paint is applied and this cruiser will be shaping up. So this third and final 1982 FJ40 is in the reassembly stage. This is the best stage, it's the most fun for me and for the guy. And this is when we start bolting the pieces back on, some of the custom fabrication pieces go back on, and it starts to look like a cruiser again, which is awesome. With a stage 3 restoration such as this, there are usually thousands of parts involved. Some are new and some are refinished, but keeping everything organized during reassembly makes everything go a lot smoother. Being a cameraman is a pretty hazardous job. Jonathan got a splinter and remember I said my wife fixes things? Well, this is her chance for her nursing skill to shine. Anytime anybody gets an owie, it's a good thing she's around. Except for these tweezer stuff. Whatever, those are great tweezers. Even though it's not a Land Cruiser, we agreed to restore this 1972 GMC Jimmy for a customer that we had built a Land Cruiser for in the past. The process is not much different, restoring any classic car, but this time we had to break out the American sockets and wrenches. Grind away. I even had to get my hands dirty and bend up a family roll cage for the interior of the Jimmy. I wonder what kind of music is going on behind those headphones. What do you want to bet? It's country music. Alright, let's hear it. Take one of those off and hold it up. Hold it up to the... My car too sexy by far. Restorations like this where the body doesn't come off the frame kind of drive me nuts because I can't get everything coated that I want to underneath. One step better than a spray can is we at least mask the vehicle off and paint the undercarriage with real automotive paint. After the undercarriage was sprayed, it was time to get the body parts which had been freshly primed and block sanded ready for yellow enamel. I love seeing the shiny go on. After the body was sprayed, I thought it would be a good idea to run it through the shop for all the various mechanical repairs that it needed. Having the inner wheel wells off made it easy for Mark to get in there and work on the side of the engine. We had discussed replacing the engine with a later fuel injected Chevy V8, but being a one owner vehicle, the owner had a pretty good maintenance record and it seemed like it was in good shape. We weren't sure exactly though because we'd never driven the rig and we can't drive it now because it needed to go to the exhaust shop. Sometimes 10 hour days get kind of long and when things start dragging you gotta mix it up a little bit. I'm not sure why the t-shirts are necessary but we're gonna have some fun. How many points should Matt get for still working? Matt and Bob should get points. Oh, he's got a headlight. 
Uh oh. Okay, so for the purposes of this race, both techs have clocked out on their customers' vehicles. There's a finish line, there's a rope. Okay, first one whose hands crosses the rope gets five points. And points count. <laughs> the winner! I got smoke! <laughs> With the Jimmy back from the exhaust shop, we were able to get some more miles on it, and it became pretty evident that we might have to... I wanted to interrupt the video to talk about Land Cruiser prices. FJ40s and FJ60s are selling for more money than they ever have before. Because of that, a lot of Land Cruisers are hitting the market from sellers who are trying to get more than their Land Cruisers are worth. If you're in the market for a Land Cruiser, I don't want you to get ripped off. So email me a link to the auction or pictures of the vehicle and I'll help you navigate through whether or not that they're asking a fair price. The email address is ProfitsCruisers at gmail.com and on our Facebook page you can contact me at Profits Resurrection Land Cruisers and there's a phone number listed there as well. So we're out of time in this episode. We didn't get to learn what was wrong with the Jimmy. We also didn't get to talk much more about those three 1982 FJ40s that are here for restoration. So the next edition, we'll pick up where we left off. Thanks for watching. Profits, Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. Do I have rings? Well, tech's definitely better. <laughs> oh, that sounds good when you do it that way. See, that's the way do it's it supposed to go. Wait. Oh, do it into that one. Okay. Because your ears are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> a lot it's a lot louder because they're by the other. Yeah, that's by your ears. <laughs> I was like, how come Mark sounds like a Ford? <laughs> Well, you don't mess up. I know, I don't. I don't. Ever. I hate this channel.